So this is a little bit different of a vlog for me today. I would like to basically jump for joy. Speaker William Murphy is stepping down today. Now you can go, Mr. Murphy, or Representative Murphy, because you're still in the House, you can go and kiss the bishop's ring slash ass all you want about marriage equality. That's fine. You know, we know we don't have your vote in the Senate and in the uh, House. I mean, I don't give a crap. You're out. Bye-bye. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. See ya. It's looking increasingly probable, though, that we're going to get our first openly gay Speaker of the House in Rhode Island with Gordon Fox. Um, welcome, Mr. Fo Representative Fox. I think uh, you've got a heck of a problem on your hands. And first of which is your designation of Nikki Mariello as your majority leader. Bad juju. Bad, 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 bad. Constantino would have been better, but I guess you're going to leave him on the Finance Committee. Um, Patrick O'Neill is replacing Kill Martin as the majority whip. That's fine. Uh, Elaine Cordier is replacing Charlie Lima. Perfect. Lima had to go anyway. And uh, Donald Lally, I'm a little sad that he's not going to be on the Judiciary Committee anymore, but he's replacing Coderre as the, uh, whatever the hell she was, the Speaker Pro Tem, which is fine. That's easy. But um, one thing I can tell you, Speaker Fox, if I may be so bold, is that we are going to push marriage equality forward in Rhode Island. We're going to do this. I also believe that if the House takes a leadership spot on this, we might actually be able to motivate uh, Senator Piva Weed to get this going in the Senate. And that's the next thing we have to work on is the Senate. But we're going to have marriage equality in Rhode Island in 2010 because we're working to get a veto-proof majority in both sides, and we will do it.